السلام عليكم hello everyone uh, <coughs> first of all I would like to welcome you to the this course academic writing in this course actually uh, or, or let's say first of all I would like to provide you with the background information about this course what we are going to teach you in this course so in this course students will get introduced to academic writing the three main parts of paragraph supporting details skills that you need in order to uh, <coughs> borrow information from outside sources then will the focus will be shifted towards the parts or three main parts of an essay as for the grammar and punctuation in this course we will concentrate on the three main types or three main kinds of sentences in english um, apostrophe rules three most common rule uh, comma rules fragment subject verb agreement and coordinating conjunctions so this is what we will teach you in this course as for today's lecture i'll focus on the main characteristics of academic writing and the formatting of paragraph so let's get going so this is the chapter one paragraph format and those are the two main topics that I'm going to explain academic writing definition of academic writing the main characteristics of academic writing then we'll move on to discuss you know the organization specifically paragraph format so we'll start by the definition of paragraph then we'll move on to discuss you know handwritten assignment the how to format handwritten assignment uh, subsequently we'll discuss you know computer written assignment as for the uh, objective or learning outcomes of this lesson you know by the end of this lesson the students should be able to recognize academic writing define paragraph and differentiate between hidden written sorry handwritten and computer written assignments formats uh, so what is academic writing it's a kind of writing that is used in high school and college classes this type of writing is clear, concise, structured, focused, and backed up by evidence. So an academic writing is not enough, you know, to depend on your, the examples from your personal experience. You need to use evidence. Evidence in the forms of what? Of information borrowed from outside sources or in the form of statistics. All right. <coughs> so academic writing is different from creative writing which is a kind of writing you do when you write stories so when you're talking about you know academic writing it is non-fiction it's not fiction like like you do when you write your know, novels or short stories it's all it is also different from personal writing which is the kind of writing you do when you write letters emails to your friends and your family text messages all those you know are different from academic writing creative writing and personal writing are informal so when we are talking about you know the style and the tone of the academic writing it should be what formal right formal tone right unlike creative and personal writing where you could use you know informal Tone. So you may use slang where not in creative and personal writing, slangs like gonna, wanna, definitely, all those words are slang that could be used in what in uh, personal and creative writing. Right? Appreciations, appreciations uh, of many kinds of words, that's shortened form of words, it could be used where or they could be used in personal and creative writing and incomplete sentences which is one of the topics that i'm going to explain later in other chapters or other lessons all right so when we are talking about incomplete sentence sentences that lack you know either verbs or subjects in that case right you, uh, or <coughs> so it could be used where in personal and uh, creative writing but when it comes to academic writing you don't you cannot use you know incomplete sentences your sentences must be complete right so however right academic writing is formal as I said it's different from personal and creative writing so you should not use a slang contraction contractions like I have 
you know I'll do right you cannot use those you need to use you know full you know forms right not short forms slangs you should avoid slang gonna wanna right or definitely right those uh, non-standard forms you should use you know instead for example of definitely you could use you know absolutely also you should take care to write you know complete sentences and to organize them in a certain way you have to follow certain conventions depending on the subject you know field that you are writing about also academic writing in english is probably different from academic writing in your native language in your mother tongue language in this case it's different from you know arabic to some extent right the words <coughs> and the grammar and also the way of organizing ideas how to rearrange ideas right how to and present them in your academic writing or in your piece of writing are probably you know possibly different from what you are used to right in fact the english way of writing may seem clumsy clumsy it means awkward repetitive and false repetition doing you know the same thing again and even impolite rude in a sense right to you just remember that is neither better nor worse than any other ways it is just different right? in this book the book which is you know academic writing level three then we'll move on to level four right will help you to learn and practice the format how to format the paragraph the essay a sentence structure as i said we will focus on you know three main types of sentences in english and the organization the method of organization that you could use in order to present the information properly and aid the reader to understand the information you know <coughs> in a clear way right proper uh, appropriate for academic or appropriate means suitable for academic writing we will begin by studying the paragraph so let's move on now next to the paragraph what do you mean by a paragraph a paragraph is a group of related statements sentences that a writer develops about a subject usually the first sentence states the specific point or idea of the topic that's what we call it in you know, a topic sentence and i'm going to explain this you know when it comes to the three main parts of the paragraph the rest of the sentences the subsequent sentences or following sentences in the paragraph support that point uh, for example if we have a sentence you know established at the beginning or the <coughs> which expresses the main idea there are three main advantages of studying academic writing Let's suppose that this is the first sentence of the paragraph so this is the main idea expressed at the beginning of the paragraph which is called the, the topic sentence right then what comes after that you know the subsequent sentence should support you know that so we will learn you know those are three main advantages or this paragraph will discuss those three main advantages all right after we are done with you know the definition of the paragraph and what do you mean by academic writing now let's move on to discuss what you know handwritten assignment format the format okay we have two types of assignment either handwritten assignments okay that you done yourself or you could type that on a computer so i'll start by how to format you know handwritten assignment handwritten assignment as a type of paper that you could use for this assignment you have to use lined paper and as for you know the ink you should use either black or blue you cannot use for example red okay as for the heading the top left hand corner before you know the lines right in that area without lines the information should be you know follow in a precise order you start with your name full name the course name and number okay then finally the date right all this information written is, <coughs> is written one and uh, the other so let's start with your name you know then followed by okay the course and the, the name of the course and the number finally okay the date the date in which you submit your assignment okay then the assignment title should be on the first line and you have to center your title <coughs> sorry then the body you start writing in the third line so you need to skip one line okay from the title okay 
then you have to indent. Indent, you have to leave the space at the beginning of the paragraph. Okay, you cannot start from the left margin. Okay, you need to leave, you know, spaces. At least five spaces. Okay, you move to the right, right, at least, you know, half an inch. The margins is one inch. You have to leave margin in, on the right and on the left sides of the paper. Also leave one uh, inch margin at the bottom of the page. As for spacing, you have to leave one space between each line of writing. Let's see that on an example, as you can see here. Okay, let me mention this, you know, a type of mistake here. Handwritten assignment format, introducing yourself. Okay, the Y is missing. All right, here, as you can see, we see uh, on the top left corner, the name of the writer, okay, followed by the course, <coughs> and the number of the course. Finally, we have the due date, okay. And here we have, you know, this is the format of the date. You could start by the month, followed by the day, then comma. We have, you know, the year, right? Uh, then, as you can see, on the first line, you need to write, you know, the title, introducing myself, right? This is the title at the beginning. Then you have to skip one line, to leave one line, and you start writing your paragraph on the third line. You have to leave the space, as you can see, at the beginning of the paragraph, half an inch. And in both sides, the right side and the left sides, even in the bottom, you have to leave, you know, margin. Okay, a one inch margin. Uh, that's all for handwritten uh, assignment format. Now let's move on to discuss, you know, computer assignment format. It is almost the same. Right? There are just slight differences between both. Uh, as, as for the type of the paper, you could use, you know, eight inch by two inches, or you know, inch, sorry, and a white paper. As for the font, use a standard font because this is academic and we said you know academic writing should be formal in that case you need to use you know a standard font such as you know times new roman okay you cannot use you know personal uh, <coughs> handwriting or any other types of font right <coughs> uh, do not use underlining italics or both times to emphasize words it is not correct to do so in academic writing. Use underlining or italics when only one required for titles of the book and some other uh, publications. I just only use italics and this of the uh, you know writing mechanism or when it comes to punctuation and capitalization, you have to understand that. So if you or, uh, if you would like to write you know about the title of books, you need to italize that. As for the heading, type your full name in the upper left corner, okay, uh, from uh, the top of the page. On the next line, type the course number, right, the name and the course number. On the third line, you just, uh, of the heading, you type the date of the assignment, right? And you could use this order month, like April, day two, comma, then year, right? For the assignment title, skip one line and center your title. You need to center your, your title. And uh, in order to do that, you could use, you know, the centering icon in your word processing program. Right. For the body, skip one line and start typing on the third line. Use the tab key, right? Uh, this will help you to indent. You move to the right, you leave the spaces at the beginning of the paragraph, you know, on the first line of the paragraph. The tab key automatically indents five spaces. Then we have the margin, leave one inch as, you know, you do with handwritten assignment. One margin on the left and the right. As for the spacing, you run, uh, if you compare this to the previous one, the previous one or handwritten assignments, you need to skip one line. Here you could use, you know, double spacing. And you could use the, one of the tab to do that in word programming or processing program. All right. That's all for, you know, formatting. Or before that, we see, you know, here an example, as you can see as we did with, you know, the previous assignment or handwritten assignment, okay? As I said, almost 
the same. Almost the, as for the title, they are you know similar in terms of centering the title, of uh, leaving spaces at the beginning, uh, leaving margins. All right. Both you know computer written assignment uh, and you know handwritten assignment are similar in that department. Okay. Now for the self evaluation or exercises, right? <coughs> So what is, you know, group of related sentences? Absolutely, it is, we are talking here about a paragraph, uh, a formal type of writing is academic, you know, it's not, you know, personal writing, because in personal writing, we could, we could use, you know, incomplete sentences, slang, you know, the tone should not be uh, uh, formal. Right, as for the abbreviation slang, incomplete sentences, again, right, all those used in, um, according to those slides, uh, either personal and or creative writing, but not in academic writing. With this, I conclude, you know, the first unit. Thank you.